Centrifugal separation There are several oil treatment processes on board ships. They are gravitation, that is settling, filtration, centrifuging. Rate of sedimentation when a solid or liquid particle moves through a viscous medium under the influence of the gravitation, it will at higher constant velocity after a certain time. This is known as the sedimentation velocity. This is called rate of sedimentation, derived from Stroke's law. Settling tanks on board used to settle out the water and other particles from fuel oil or lubricating oil. In these tanks sedimentation carrying out under the gravity, according to the formula, gravitational acceleration is a parameter affecting to the rate of sedimentation. We are keeping the cetelic tanks in hot condition. Let's see the reason, again referring to the formula. When temperature increases, the density difference will increase along with the decrease in viscosity. Again leads to increase the rate of sedimentation. Let's see one more scenario here. Consider the two tanks with the same volume. The height of number one tank is lesser than number two. Therefore the sedimentation process is faster in number one tank. So this sedimentation height also affecting to the process. If we supply unseparated oil into the settling tank, water and heavy particles will be separated as shown in the figure. Here the separation occurs under the gravity, and it is a slow process. But if we can replace the gravity by centripetal acceleration, it is possible to increase the rate of separation process. By making a ball arrangement on a vertical shaft, it will let us to spin at a very high RPM to give high centripetal acceleration to the liquid which going to separate. Centrifuging this is the process by which the effects of gravity can be amplified by the use of centrifugal force, to the extent that the separation process becomes rapid and continuous. Centrifuges work rapidly spinning a ball containing the liquid. There are two types of centrifuges based on application. They are clarifier and purifier. Clarifier is an arrangement to remove only impurities from the liquid. Purifier is an arrangement to separate two liquids of different densities like water from oil, along with the impurities from the liquid. To operate the centrifuge as a purifier, it is required to bring up to operating speed, supplied with fresh water to form the water seal and then the oil to be purified is delivered to the distributor by the purifier feed pump. As the oil passes down the distributor, it is rapidly brought up to the rotational speed of the purifier, by the radial vanes provided for this purpose. The oil passes from the distributor to the bottom of the ball and from there to the supply holes. From the supply holes, the oil is fed to the spaces between discs through the distribution holes in the discs. Separation and clarification takes place between the discs. Water and sludge moving radially outwards, pass along under surface of the discs, and the purified oil moving radially inwards, passes over the upper surface of the discs. Water and light sludge particles are discharged at the water outlet. There is a sludge discharge cycle, which will empty the ball at designated intervals. There is a streamline flow in between the space of two discs. Maximum velocity is at the middle and zero velocity when approaching the plates. A particle enter in between the disc space, 
will tend to be pushed upwards by the fluid flow. Centrifugal force acting horizontally outwards. Due to the mass of the particle is very small the gravitational force acting on it is very small. As a result of resultant force the particle will reach underside of the disc, where fluid velocity is zero. Now due to centrifugal force the particle will thrown away, towards the periphery of the ball. This is the reason, that always the sludge forms underside of the purifier discs. These are the centripetal pumps. It discharges the clean oil and water under pressure. It operates on the reverse principle as a centrifugal pump. Where in a centrifugal pump, the impeller rotates in a stationary casing, and the liquid being pumped flows out from impeller channels. The centripetal pump is a cylindrical disc with multiple channels. These channels follow a curved path from the outer rim of the disc to a central drain pipe. The centripetal pump's outer rim dips into the rotating liquid. The channels guide the liquid into the central drain pipe. Kinetic energy of the liquid is converted into pressure energy. It is very important that the oil-water interface is in the correct position in a conventional separator operating in purifier mode. This is controlled by means of gravity disk, it is also called dam ring or regulating ring. The manufacturers provide nomograms to determine the correct gravity disk, based upon oil density and separating temperature. The purifier is supplied with number of gravity disks with different inside diameters. The optimum position of the interface is between the edge of the disk stack and outside edge of the top disk. This can be checked visually by looking at the underside of the top disk after running few minutes. It should be remembered that the difference in densities of oil and water are greater at higher temperatures. Therefore the separating temperatures must be maintained at higher levels recommended by the oil manufacturers. In a purifier if the oil is admitted first, it will simply discharge from the water side to prevent this. A water seal needs to be applied first. Gravity disc helps to keep the oil water interface in correct position, but there are also other factors affecting this. The oil water interface will move towards outer edge of top disc if the temperature decrease or one of these increases. That is density, viscosity throughput. If the oil water interface moves towards disk stack more, there will be a risk of water escape with clean oil outlet. If the oil water interface moves towards outer edge of top disk more, there will be a risk of oil escape with water outlet. Ball closing operation after the purifier reaches to the rated speed, ball closing water solenoid valve will open for a predetermined period. Once the water enter into the water chamber, the sliding ball will move up and close the ball with the ball hood. There is a seal in between ball hood and sliding ball. The pressurized water chamber is sealed by spring-loaded plugs, therefore the seating surfaces must be smooth. If they are leaking, ball will open and starts to leak after some time. Some manufacturers giving water pulses, to overcome the losses of water in the closing water chamber, mostly due to minor leakages.
ball opening operation. Once the predetermined time reached, the ball opening solenoid valve will open for a certain time period programmed by the operator. The water will enter into opening water chamber. Then the water will press the spring loaded valve and let the water in the closing water chamber to drain. Then the ball will open and all the sludge will be discharged to prepare the ball for a new cycle. Converting purifier into clarifier. Blind disc must be fixed to the bottom of the disc stack. Minimum sized gravity disc that is clarifier disc must be used to block the water outlet. Sealing water inlet line must be blanked.